<laughs> Ty, uh, a couple of days ago, you said that uh, Nico can't dribble anymore. He's scared to dribble. And he put up 32 points. Uh, he had one dribble, a little baby dribble for a layup. <laughs> that was his only dribble leading up to a bucket. Uh, what did you make of his just overall, you know, scoring performance and just all around game for you guys? Um, I think, you know, just from the talk we had before the Atlanta game, just moving the basketball, sharing the ball. Um, I thought our guys were doing a conscious effort, made a conscious effort just trying to do that. And, um, you know, we haven't made shots, you know, but – Tonight, like I said, shooting 50%, you know, making 18 threes and Nico seven for 10, you know, just catch and shoot. And when the ball's moving and bodies are moving, we're making the right play. You know, guys are going to get open shots like that. So it was just good to see, you know, having 32 assists and scoring 139 points. And um, the ball was moving, everybody touched it and everybody was involved. So, I um, it was good to see. When, when you see the offense clicking, um, not even just that, just bodies moving, uh, ball hopping side to side, like, why do you, I guess, have games where that doesn't happen sometimes like that? Well, it depends on how teams play you, I think, defensively. Um, and so just taking advantage of what they're trying to do. Um, you know, whenever we can get, you know, two on the ball, you know, we're a pretty dangerous team. And so they blitzed Reggie a little bit. And um, we was able to get Zoo in the pocket and then a couple backdoor cuts for T-Man, a couple backdoor cuts for, for Nico. And so Zoo made a good job of reading it. Isaiah as well, just making a pass out to the, you know, to the open guy. So... Um, that really helped trigger our offense. And so, um, you know, when we're playing like that. Like I said, it's fun. Um, it's contagious. And we made the right play pretty much all night. Hey, Coach, when you talk about Amir Coffey's emergence, um, we know him, or well, I knew him as a more of a defender. And then he gets in the game and gets some, um, gets some points on the board. He's been scoring pretty regularly recently. Will you talk about that, that emergence and how he's developed? Here I recently? think just our whole, you know, player development staff have done a good job with him. You know, um, it starts with Sean Fine and his crew, um, the guys that really work with him, and um, Jeremy Castleberry. They do a good job. You know, in the last three years, he's really developed. And you know, first, like you said, he was a defender because you have PG and Kawhi and. Reggie and those guys on the floor of Marcus. So he didn't really have a ball in his hands. He wasn't really, you know, creating. But, you know, tonight leading the team in assist with a seven assist and getting downhill, making the right play, you know. So, um, like I said, he, he's a good player, you know, um, and he's really done a good job of developing and working on his game and understanding who he is as a player. Ty, uh, Reggie's fourth quarter, I believe he had like 15 in the fourth. Uh, got the line a lot. Obviously, they fouled him intentionally towards the end, but – he was able to kind of get downhill a lot more than he had been able to in previous games. Did it seem like he had a little bit more in the legs than he had in, you know, in prior games? Um, yeah, I thought his pace was really good, you know, attacking, getting downhill. Um, when they try to blitz, that means the big is up. So he was able to reject and get to the basket to get to the free throw line. So um, like I said, by him attacking, playing like that, and then, you know, spraying out, making the right pass. Like, you know, like I think, I think his pace was really what, you know, changed the game for us. And then the fourth quarter, Indiana kind of got going offensively to a large degree. What kind of gave you guys problems there? Everything. <laughs> um, they made shots. Um, Karis LeVert was able to attack and get to the basket and make plays. Um, you know, Sabonis, just a physical presence down low. Um, so they had a click on all cylinders, you know, um, offensively. And um, I thought, you know, Chris, you know, he came in and really did a good job, you know, off the bench of scoring the ball. And um, what did he shoot? 10 for 14, having 24 points off the bench. Um, he really got it going for them in the second half as well. Ty, obviously, um, a lot, like you mentioned, a lot of it has to do with how other teams are playing you, but can, can you guys bottle this up and, and take it on the road with you? We better. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. But, you know, like I said, we just got to, you know, continue to play, um, attack, make the right pass. And, you know, a lot of times, if we, you know, it's hard for us to create options where we can get into the paint and make the right play. But tonight I thought we did a good job of just attacking the paint. And when they came to help, we made the right play and the right pass. So, um, you know, just got to continue to build off this one and um, continue to get better. Hey, you happy with the guys' focus today? You mentioned that you, you didn't want them looking ahead to the trip and just to think about today. Yeah, offensively. I got to look at it defensively. You know, um, I don't know. We couldn't stop them. So I'm glad we can actually score tonight. So um, that was good to see. But, I mean – you know, they had 32, 31, and 43 in the last three quarters, you know. So I'm going to look at the tape and see how they hurt us. But um, they put you in some tough positions, you know, especially 
with Sabonis and how he rolls and how physical he is. Once he catches the ball in the pocket, um, it's hard for our bigs to try to get back in front and keep him out of position. So um, we got to clean it up when we play him in two weeks. Ty, Marcus was able to do a lot of his scoring early without having to dribble much. A lot of it was off the catch. Was that by design or just how Indiana was playing you guys? Um, I guess how they were playing us. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't dribble too much anyway. He just gets to a spot and kind of rise and shoot. And um, him and Amir really played good in that first half of just carrying the offense. And second half, they won a lot of zones, so it kind of eliminated Marcus and took him out of the game. Did that zone feel familiar to you? Did it what? Did that zone feel familiar to you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it did. Um, but we was able to, to do some good things. And once we understood what they were trying to do, we was able to adjust and get some open shots. Ty, what's it like coaching in a in a track meet like that, uh, especially after <laughs> what we saw last week where, you know, basically it was first to 90 or first to 80 <laughs> and one game wins. Like, I mean, how does that kind of change how you process everything that's going on when it's bucket after bucket? Well, it feels good when you win. You know, I will say that, um, you know, only having 13 turnovers, you know, I think played a good part in that. But we, you know, in that second quarter, we gave him a chance to get back in the game. We could have opened it up a little bit more by having, you know, some turnovers and gave him 10 points in the second quarter off our turnovers. So we got to be better in that regard. But just playing with pace, you know, getting stops, getting out and actually converting in transition. Um, I thought we did a decent job with that. How do you how do you feel like uh, Isaiah was out there? Because obviously he got the second half minutes along with along with Zoo. Um, and again, that's a different kind of game with a guy just coming back from injury. Like, how do you think he came out? Um, I thought it was good. I thought his energy was good. Um, you know, just you know, playing the game, getting to the basket, got to the free throw line a couple of times. But you know, he's, he's slowly working his way back. So um, his energy, like I said, is infectious and. Now we got to get back to, you know, playing with him and, you know, let him have the ball in his hands and make plays for other guys. And so hopefully when we get Luke back, you know, Isaiah, Luke, and T-Man together, you know, getting that combination back together along with Bled, um, which has been good for us all year, and just kind of see how that looks and kind of get that unit going again. Coach, uh, can you talk about that inbounds play? I mean, you're, you're up three with, you know, 30 seconds to go, and then Reggie just gets completely free off that, you know, uh, screen from Marcus, you know, what were you drawing up there? What look were you trying to generate? Well, it's a play we call a safe. And um, basically we knew with 21, with, with 30 seconds on the clock, that they were going to try to trap. So um, just told Reggie, when you come off and curl it, Marcus is going to peel back, um, but just be ready for the trap. And so they kind of overplayed it and Reggie was able to turn the corner and Nico made a good pass to him. who's was able to finish and get it, you know, an easy two, you know, so um that's basically just trying to get it in without, you know, without turning the ball over and just be prepared for the trap because we knew they was going to try to trap one time before they fouled. And in a game like this where, you know, the paces are really kind of nipping on your heels the whole way through, you know, what what does it mean to have sort of the presence of guys like, you know, Reggie and Marcus and Nico who have been in this league a long time, who have been through it all, you know, just kind of be stabilizers um, yeah. in that fourth quarter? It's good, you know, to have, you know, the three vets, like you said, to close the game out and, like they've been there in big moments and, you know, opportunities down the stretch. And Nico made some big shots, Marcus, and, you know, as well as Reggie. So um, we need every bit of it tonight, you know, just to close that game. But, you know, I thought Indiana played well. You know, down the stretch, they really pushed the ball and um, got into the paint, created and scored really early in the clock. So, and they got back in zone, which, you know, kind of stagnated us a little bit. But um, our three guys played good down the stretch and was able to get the win. Thank you.